All right. What's up, guys? So um, today we have a gold tank that we're gonna be reviewing. Um. Yeah. Also, I know there's been a lot of um Overwatch coaching vids uh coming out lately, just all in a row, kind of. So I'm gonna try and keep that up, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. So we'll see. But. Yeah, I'm going to try and keep that up as much as possible. Um, yeah. Alright, let's hop right into it. So, coming out of spawn door. Hold up. Uh, so, we have a Doom Widow, um, Moira, uh, Anna. So, we should be rather aggressive. The Widow can't really help us with brawls, but she's already doing her job, right? She's, uh... Picked. Why? Okay, never mind. Uh, how do I? Hold on. Um. Hold on. Do I not have? Okay, whatever. Excuse me. So, what is Zarya doing? Her job. She's picked, right? Um. We have Doomfist. We have Ryan Zarya. We have Moira Anna, right? So we should be a rather aggressive comp. Um. Right out the gate. Widow's already gotten a dink. It's a 5v6. We should be pushing rather aggressively. Also, you're the off tank, so it's kind of your job. I mean, the main tank should be pushing the bar, but if the main tank's not pushing, you know, you can push. Also, this uh, bubble early on is kind of not necessarily a waste, but, like, you know, you could take the damage, and then Moira would get the ult charge, and then you could use this bubble later um, more aggressively than just to block a few shots because you're probably not going to get too much charge off of this. Or at least I'm assuming. Yeah, nine. So it's not really worth it. We could have held on to it longer till about now, and then we could have W keyed all the way past Reinhardt, right? Right now is when we could have popped it. And then we could have gotten it. Also, your bubbles. Alright, so. Um, yeah, we could have pushed up past Ryan, you know, held on to it a little longer. We don't necessarily use the need to use bubble all the time. We could have taken some damage there. It's not like there's a threat. If there was a widow. We could have been a little bit worried, but, um, you know, our Widow took out the Widow right away, so there's no immediate threat. There's nothing that can burst us down when we get halted by the Orisa. So there's really zero reason to use Bubble early on there. Also, um, your Bubbles so far have been rather, um, not necessarily reactionary. They've been basically you bubbling before anything happens, hoping for something to happen, or, like, anticipating something. <clears throat> the problem with that is that the enemies will just stop shooting at you when you have bubble up, right? That's why bubble works, is when r right before somebody's about to nail you, so like when you get halted, if it's a good widow, her automatic muscle memory and instinct is to go for a headshot on that halt, right, by Orisa. So, you know, that's when you could um, do something about that and bubble for that. But, um, you know, if you're just bubbling out in the open like this, nobody's really going to shoot you. They're just going to wait till bubble goes down, or they're going to focus you extra hard and laser you. Uh, but, you know, you're too close to team, so they'll probably just wait. And, yeah, and you don't get value. Now you're still at 40 charge. You're still low charge. Um, that was a good bubble. See? He's getting shot. Yeah. So keep bubbles like that. Like, your team bubbles seem to be good, but your personals seem to be a bit um, subpar. This is good tracking. We don't need to go back to cart. Why are we going back to cart? All right. So you're pushing up, right? See, look at your team all the way over here. They're still W keying. They're going to kill this widow and they're probably going to see this diva peek around and they're going to attack her. Like they're still W keying. You could be up there with them getting ult charge. You're um 44% to your ult, right? You could still be farming grav. You can play more aggressive with Zarya. There's way too many passive Zarya's in low ranks and that's normally why they're low rank like honestly your bubble placement isn't that bad your tracking isn't that bad I have a feeling it's going to be your positioning and you're pr I'm assuming going to be a rather passive Zarya right you can play a much more aggressive Zarya there's no reason to play uh this passive back by cart like you were winning fight you were killing things you were high charge you know somewhat uh, 70 charge, so, like, you can be m way more aggressive. I don't know why we're not pushing the envelope here. No There's no reason. We're just sitting back here. We're not doing anything. Look at our team. All the way up there. Like, there's no reason for you. Yeah, there we go. Get back in there. Go go mess some things up. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Eh, poor bubble. Poor personal, but they got value off of it, so. 
Yeah, this is okay. This is this is good. Focus Reaper, focus Reaper. Yeah, we could have been a little bit quicker on focusing Reaper, but um yeah. Hundred charge. Alright. This is perfect. So Alright, let's make sense of this. So actually hold on. Do you have Yeah, you have um your team bubble, sorry. C couldn't think for a second. <laughs> Alright, so Diva's here, right? She's going to get demeched by Ryan. There's no reason to focus her. This Moira is going to be taking quite a bit of heat. She's being grasped. So, okay, the Moira's grasping Ryan. I don't quite know why. Um, Lucy's probably going to start shooting into this Moira. Everybody's probably going to start focusing on this Moira. So you should bubble Moira. Keep her up. Or you could bubble Ana, but preferably Moira. Um, and then just let this sorry, or this Diva get demeched. And then Ryan should be able to deal with her. And then you W key and peel for your Moira and Ana, right? Um, and you go up and you push them. So let's see what you do here. You walk completely away from the fight. This is not the play. We could have saved fight here. Uh, let's go back. Just a little bit. So back to when you're W keying, and then you're backing out, you're retreating, All right? This is fine. Ryan comes in. Alright, look at what you did. So, Diva's demect, right? You should have peeled for your team. They got away anyways, so they're fine. But this Diva's demect, you could turn around, kill her. You're a hundred charge. You'll laser her down in a split second, and she'll be gone. Then it's a 5v6, right? Well, actually, no, it's not 5v6. It's like a 5v5 because Doomfist coming back from spawn. Uh, but Widow's up here, right? She's still generating pressure. She's probably going to dink this Widow because so far she's been dominant. You're back here, right? And you're just walking away aimlessly. Like, you're not getting value here. Um, We could be a lot more aggressive. Like, our Zarya play overall, you have aggressive moments, but overall, it should be more aggressive because you're quite a passive Zarya, even when you're like 100 charge. And I get your low HP. But look at your Ana. She's already healing you. She'll keep healing you. You have a Moira right here with a healing orb out, and she'll heal you. So, like, you'll get full HP. I think you're going for the health pack for the Mega over here. But you don't need to do that. You can just stay with your team, right? And you can go W key these, w -key these people. They have no tank. They have a Sigma coming. But, like, for right now, you can peel. You can take space, push it up. Um, do you have personal? You almost have personal up and team bubble. So, like, you can definitely push the envelope here. We should be more aggressive. Alright, and now we just reposition. Like, there's no reason to reposition here. We could have been way more aggressive. Prevented that widow from dying. Alright, here we go. Alright, so that was actually a good opportunity to grab. So, I think we're gonna win fight anyways. But, um... Which is fine, but grab, you could have grabbed earlier on there, right? And gotten a few more people. Why are we standing still? What are we doing? Come on, be more aggressive. All right, anyways, um, grab, right? There were like three people that you could have grabbed. Um, we won't fight anyways, so it's totally fine. But, um, in the future, just, and I, you know, it's totally fine. Just do whatever. But, um... In the future, right, I just want to put this out there, because I assume there's going to be grabs. I assume you're going to hold on to grab and not um, go for grabs on vital targets, because there's a lot of lowering Zarya's that think, oh, the only way grab gets value is if I combo with, for example, Doomfist or uh, Moira, which Moira would be a pretty bad Zarya combo. Um, but, for example, if only if I uh, combo with Doomfist, which, you know, a grab with Doomfist, a big grab with Doomfist, that's... That's insane. That's awesome. But um, you don't always need to get a big grab with Doomfist, right? So, like, let's say there's two supports out of position. Like, let's say they're, uh, their Moira is no fade, and their Lucio is grouped up with Moira. Their Moira has no fade. Their Lucio is over there, right? L let's say they're grouped up. You could just grab them and kill both supports. It's a 4v6, and they have no sustain because they have no heals. So it's an easy team fight win. I mean, yeah, you don't get the nice little 6k that you probably want, but that's not Overwatch, right? You don't need that big 6k. You don't need that flashy montage play. You just need a vital pick. You just need something vital to uh, kill team. 
right? Or to win the team fight. And if that means just getting one or two kills on vital targets, then do it. Uh, but let's see what you do here. So I don't know why we're going around. All right, this is... Okay. We can be a lot more aggressive here. Once again... Once again, look at our Reinhardt all the way over here. He's kind of stupid because he's away from team and doing whatever he wants. But, um... You know, you could be up here with him. And you could be W King. Widowmaker's already taking up aggressive positioning. She's got sight lines. Leading all down through here. She's probably going to kill Lucio. Not exactly sure. Moira's one. Like, if you were over here, this could easily be, like, 3k. Right? All these people could die. Um, we need to be way more aggressive. Like, oh, oops. Uh, we need to be way more aggressive. Like, look at you. You're, you're cart duty. Cart duty's not your job. Um, look at... Look at Ana. Oh, oh, AFK. Okay, anyways. Um... You know, we could have Ana dedicated to cart duty. Because Ana, you know, here's the here's the thing with cart. Right? And we're way overextended there. We should have backed off. I don't know what's going on right now. We seem to be kind of like brain dead and AFK. Um, but let's say we go off over here, right? Um, you know, or... Uh, what am I talking about? Jesus. Okay, sorry. It's late. Um, anyways. Ana's on cart, right? Ana gets value because she's pushing cart one and two she can she's a ranged hero you always want the ranged heroes on cart and if you're a brawl comp you put Lucio on cart because he has the least impact um, when you're 5v6ing right because he's not speeding in the only thing he can do is speed out which if he's pushing cart he can always just go up and then speed you out anyways if it's absolutely necessary but you know basically uh, in this scenario right the right people to put on cart would be either Widowmaker um, McCree or Ana. McCree's kind of ruled out because he's not that long range. Widow is ruled out because she gets more value playing aggressive. Ana, however, is a healer. So as long as she's in your guys' backline and she's healing, then she's she's Gucci. She's doing her job. So if you put her on cart, she's still getting value because she can still shoot you from cart. She's a sniper. She'll still be able to hit you guys, assuming she doesn't have the aim of like a complete potato. Um... So it should be fine, you know, just dedicate her to cart duty. Um, and I realize if you're not in comms, or the Ana's not in comms, then this doesn't work too well. But, um, you know, she's already playing very far back, so she'll probably naturally push the cart. And if you're not in comms, then that's your problem, get into comms. And if she's not in comms, then that's unlucky. But, uh, you know, whatever. So, um, Widow, we got some aggressive positioning. Widow duel, ignoring that Widow gonna die here oh okay all right just looking at other people all right nice rock jump back to point all right that is a nice bubble good blocking your rhyme that was really good all right get this reaper get this reaper mm -hmm. nice all right this is good it's good play uh yeah be a little bit careful about this widow maker and our widow took her out nice um we can W key. Why are we why are we card duty? W key. W key. W key. Please. Uh you're playing so passive on Zarya. Zarya is an off tank, she peels. I guarantee you if you play more aggressive, you will climb. You have two on this cart right now, you don't need two on cart. You have three on this cart. Don't need that many on cart. You could have bubbled that widow and saved her. Um Uh uh, uh Okay, I'll rewind after a second. Alright. Let's rewind, because that was a bit of a mess. So. Going back here. How far back is this? Eh, speed it up a little bit. Oh, this is not... Alright, there we go. Nice middle. Alright, so. Alright, so we're pushing up, right? You're on car duty. First of all... Stop being on cart duty. I'm going to keep on saying this, right? You have a widow on cart right now. Eh, she's going to hook up. But, you know, you got your on up here. She should drop back naturally. You don't need... And there's a lot of controversy in the lower ranks, and I don't know why, uh, where people think, oh, we need three on cart. And then people argue about it because some people, you know, think there should be one on cart. Some people think there should be three, two, etc. And everybody argues about what they think is right. 
Uh, one's correct because you want one on cart. The other five push up, right? You have that one long range character on cart, or the character having the least value in those team fights on cart, so that it's constantly moving and it's not contested. And then the only area that's contested is, for example, your team's up here, right? They're contesting this area. The cart is not in this area, right? The cart's all the way back here. So it doesn't really matter if there's a team fight going on up here. The cart's going to keep moving. So the whole goal of having one on cart is the five go up, and then they contest the area in front of the cart so that the cart stays moving. Because if you all play cart, then every team fight the cart is going to be contested, and it's going to hurt your time overall. Um, and it's really going to be a pain because every time there's a team fight, you're going to stall. They're going to stall cart for about 30, 40 seconds, right? Unless you're like insane and you just destroy them every team fight. Uh, but they're always going to stall cart. Whereas if you play up, um, you know, maybe you get a pick or something like that. And then if you start to take too much pressure, those five that are up just drop back to cart. And then you play cart if you have to. But, um, you know, there's no reason to play like this. Uh, we could have Ana play cart and then you just speed up here. Or don't speed up here, sorry. Walk up here and then you have your bubbles, right? Your, your high charge, you laser everything, you're an off tank. You should always be with the main tank. Uh, in, unless in certain circumstances if you're peeling or something like that. But you should s typically be somewhere around your main tank kind of doing what they're doing. Um, if you're Zarya with personal, you can be a little bit more aggressive, be in front of them, peeling, making, uh, space, you know, pushing the envelope, all that good stuff. But, like, overall, you should kind of have the same idea in mind as to what you want to get accomplished. Alright. Uh, let's see. So, we're going, we're going, right? Widow hooks up. Doesn't she die here? Uh, yeah. So, you bubble. Look at, look at this, right? Widow's jumping down. If you were to have a little bit better game sense, know she's up there. Like, you already saw her hook up, right? So, all you gotta do is look over, bubble her. She has Infrasight active. So, she already has crazy value. You have walls. You know, she needs to live. Because on this current patch, right, if she dies with Infrasight on, then uh, Infrasight gets deactivated, right? So... We need to bubble her. We could bubble her, but instead we don't. She dies. And then you get fluxed up. That's unfortunate. And then you bubble. Or you grab. So, we have two dead. We have a Ryan dead. We have a Widow dead. We almost have this Moira right here dead. She's about to die because you have no uh, team bubble for her. And she's being hit by Moira with her heal orb all the way over here. She's dead. Um, so, that's already three dead. And we're popping grab. We have no follow-up. We have a McCree and Ana over here. Ana, eh, maybe she gets team nade, but I don't think she even has... Uh, hold on. I don't think... Hold on. Uh, I don't know how to get to her. Um, okay, never mind. Forget it. For the sake of the argument, she has nade, right? Maybe she gets a team nade, but at the same time, their Lucio has beat if they absolutely 100% need it, and their Sigma can just shield, right? Like, there's there's nothing good here. Y you don't even have a high noon to follow up, so this is just a waste of ult. There's nothing you're going to get out of this. You just burned another ult, so don't, don't waste ults like that. And then we're still W keying in. Alright, back out, back out, back out. This is where we back out. We do not keep W keying. We're gonna die here. Yep. Alright, we should not keep W keying. Like, after the fight's lost, we don't W key, right? Back up. Alright, so. Alright, so now let's see what's going on. Oopsie daisies, sorry. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on. Sorry, I had to cut recording and then reopen it back up, so. Alright. So, yeah, we gotta pick. Oh, wait, no, they gotta pick on us, sorry. Um, we can play a little bit aggressive, but now we should back up. Okay, never mind, we got picks. Alright, I guess let's go. We're down a man, so like we have to play more passive. Alright, so 
overall, we kind of could have gotten away with that. If our team was a little bit more aggressive in turn. But we lost vital components to our team, right? So let's go back. Um, so... Is this the right team fire? Correct? Yeah. Alright, so we lose Ryan, right? Ryan is our main tank. He's what holds our team together. He's the glue, right? He's the backbone of the team. We lose him. We have to either play very passive in a team fight, and they still have everybody up. They still have this. That's not a widow. I'm stupid. All right, here's widow. Widow's still watching sites. She's probably, if she's good, gets dink. Whatever. She's contesting here, right? Um, like they, they're kind of set up right to win this. Um, Sigma's pushing forward. W king into you guys. Uh, as well as Lucio. So, we should back out here. Like, we have the time. We can get away with it. You're still high charge. Like, you can play kind of on the edge, right? With your personal bubbles and stuff. And just keep your charge up. But you shouldn't W key into them or anything like that. Um, we should back off here. Uh, we've lost our main tank. Like, anytime you lose a vital person. Like, if you lose a vital person, once you're already committed, might as well just do it. Right? But we already have the majority of our ults. Our supports aren't going to gain anything out of this. Um, the only thing you hope to gain is ult charge for grav, which is not as worth it as, um, let's say, the reaper or the diva charging ult, right? So we we don't – it's not worth it here. Um, if we're in the poke phase, right, and we lose somebody, that's when we have the best chance to back out. If we lose something, somebody when we're already committed, right, then that's different because we've we've lost somebody. We're already committed. There's no backing out, right? Um, but when you're in the poke phase and you lose somebody, just back out, reset. Unless it's like, you know, the last fight or something like that. Like, you have time. You have two minutes, almost 30 seconds. Like, you're you're totally chilling. Like, you're, you're okay if you back out here. But instead, we W key up. We even it up here with the high noon. Which, investing high noon, and then we invest multiple ults. We invest multiple ults into a loss fight. So we kill the D.Va, which we should not have needed high noon to do. She was a baby D.Va. McCree, if he had good aim, could have just dinked her and she, we're done. Like, there's no need to use high noon here. But whatever, we pop high noon, we're even, right? Um, but we've, we're still, it's, it's still main tank and off tank. Main tank on our team is down, off tank on their team is down. Main tanks are typically more important, especially when it's Diva Sig. So, you know, they still are set up, They're, they still have quite a bit of structure to their team. Diva, yeah, she can dive the Widow and stuff like that, but honestly, they're still set up. Um, they also beat, then we also call, oopsie daisies. Then we also coalesce, right? We coalesce this. Um, the coalescence isn't getting that much value. I don't know why we popped that. Uh, this is just a slew of ults. So we've. So keep in mind, we've invested two ults. They've invested two. So we, we're matching them right now. And here's where they win fight. So we wasted two ults for no reason. All right, this defending team's kind of brain dead because, you know, Typically, what you want to do on defense is you want to keep the um, team to a 1-2 ratio, right? Uh, defense, you for every defensive ult, you want to get two offensive ults. That's how you get keep good ult economy and always stay ahead of the uh, attacking team. However, this team just traded equally with us, and they traded, but, you know, they traded, and they traded, they both traded coal, and then they used beat. So they used both support ults. They're cleared out now. So we should win this next fight with relative ease. Um, we have slam. We have nano. That should honestly be all we need. Nano, Ryan. Ryan gets a big slam. There we go. But uh, this W King, this was not necessary. We could have played a little bit of aggro, right, to bait their ults because this team is obviously um, very uh, trigger happy when it comes to their ultimates, right? So we don't. We could be a little bit more aggressive to try and bait that and keep our ult, or sorry, keep our Zarya charge up. But we shouldn't necessarily W key all the way into them. There's no reason to do that. Um, so let's play. So our team's re relocating or er, regrouping. Sorry, this widow's taking a one v one with a reaper, and gets zoned. Ryan gets the nano like I expected. Gets the slam. Kind of just carries that. And then here he goes, and he's just swinging away. 
And then you're coming back from spawn, so I'm gonna watch more interesting things. <laughs> and then Ryan's just hammering away. You're coming in nice, your high charge right off the bat. This is really good. Like, in the beginning, I wasn't very sure that your bubbles would be... All right. What do you have down in that bottom right corner? And who could you have saved? Not both of them, but you could just save one of them. You could have saved either Anna or McCree. So let's go back literally just a little bit. All right. Oops. There we go. All right. So Diva Bombs, you're right here, right? So... Actually, uh, I want to, uh, when I get this, like, perfect, dude. <laughs> so the second we see her going for that, it's very obvious that she's going for it, right? We bubble here and walk out and go to the other side of this red van, right? And we get out fine. We can either bubble Anna or McCree. You have to play favorites here. Um, you're going to have to play favorites a lot of times in Overwatch, uh, especially if you play support, but you play tank, so, you know, it's fine. Although, with Zarya, you know, you kind of have to. So, who's going to get more value? Is it McCree or is it Ana, right? Well, Bomb's going in. We want to win this fight. Reaper's right here. Ryan's low. Um, you're low. Uh, McCree can't heal last I checked, so do we really care that much? No. Give the bubble to Ana. She lives. McCree dies. It's fine. And then we still have a chance at winning because it would be 5v5 and they're down a main support. We're down a DPS. It's not that big of a deal. And I would say it's worth a trade. So, um, you know, we bubble here, but instead we don't bubble. We walk around the cart because we're like, oh no, me, me, me. And then we forget about our team. Um, if you're a tank, you should be thinking about your team before yourself. Uh, sorry, especially main tanks out there. Um, if you treat your team like it's more important than you, then you'll climb, basically, right? Because they are. Always make sure they're safe before you are, honestly. There's, there, I mean, there, if you died, it, you would have lost because, you know, you had high charge. But, you, you could have helped your team and helped yourself, as opposed to just helping yourself. Because you're so worried about yourself that you're clouding um up uh the thoughts that you know you can actually help your team all right this w king is great i love to see this just keep the push and go keep the aggression this is great all right so, bad bubble, bad personal coming out. We could bubble that Ryan. There we go. Big charge, man. Like, honestly, your, um, your bubbles on other people are honestly so good. Like, you always get 40 charge out of them. They're insane. Your personal bubbles need work, though. Um, because you normally bubble before anything happens. Uh, you just need to wait until you're getting shot at, right? Because you're very good, I can tell, at, um, you know, bubbling people when they're in trouble, when they're in peril. Uh, not necessarily just to get charged, because the whole point of bubble, yeah, it gives you charge, but also it's meant to, um, help your team, right? So if somebody's in peril, it's primarily meant to save that person. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. But, you know, you're getting great team bubbles, you just need to work on the personals. And it's unfortunate Ryan died there, but no. That's a good personal, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, we can just back out here. We can just back out here. Don't W key. Don't W key. Don't W key. Stop W keying. Just back out. I get that you're playing aggressive for personal, but like you're 100 charged. There's no reason to keep playing aggro. That's a nice bubble. See, your bubbles are good. Um, we could have not died there if we would have played a little bit less aggressive, right? There's no reason to play that aggressive there. There's really no benefit. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, when you're already 100 charged, there's really no reason. Like, yeah, you can maintain it. But honestly, you would have dropped by at most, like, 20 charge. And you would have gained that back with one one bubble. Um, team's kind of splitting here. This is just unfortunate. Um, let's get a full regroup going. 
They're coming in to respawn. We should shield that. I don't know why we're using ults. It's a waste of coal. And now we're up by two. We're still using ults. That was so many ults. Oh my god. I know you didn't do that personally. But if you are in comms, you should have some control over that. But I mean, man, like, that was three ults when they're spawn camping and we were up by, like, two. There's no reason to use that many. Because here's where we need the ults. Here's where we need that big nano team shatter. Alright, so, let's see what you're doing. Right, you're, you're 100 charge, man. You're really good with the bubbles, honestly. Honestly, like, and your tracking's good enough. I think it's your positioning and a, just a little bit of game sense. You could definitely climb like a lot because this is this is good gameplay like your bubbles are on point all right we kind of just all right so we kind of spun in circles there and didn't realize what was going on we need to focus down one target at a time and you know get some value like if you need to just back off right there's no reason to they pushed up i think we lose this year yeah that's fine we shouldn't have held on to grab for so long. We could have popped grab in that final fight just to get like even one or two. Like just get it, get a tank. Like let's say that Sigma, right? We could have just solo ulted the Sigma. That would have been fine. Um, we shouldn't have held on to grab. Like if it's last team fight, you shouldn't die with an ult, right? Ever. Like just just pop it. Like I I don't care. <laughs> you know. It, just like throw it, especially if it's like something like grab. You know, you can solo ult the Sigma. You can solo ult the. Um, Reaper. I don't care. Just like do something. All right. So you guys push card here. Uh... Ready for battle. Alrighty. Sigma. All right. This is gonna be interesting. Sigma one would be the correct play. Um. We could run either a Sigma. Honestly, I like this team comp. This is a good team comp. Um, we could run the Sigma, or we could run, I guess, an Arissa if you're competent. It's not that great, but Sigma or Hog here um, works really well for defense. I mean, you can also still run the Zarya because of the choke damage that there normally is. You can just always be high charge. You can just W key kids out of the choke, but like, you know. The Sigma works really well too, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. Or even, I forgot, I think, yeah, D.Va's not banned, <laughs> so you could play D.Va. Yeah, because the only team has D.Va's on. But yeah, yeah, this is totally, totally fine. Alright. Um, we don't... Alright, so yeeting accretion, right, oh, oops, wrong button. So, yeeting accretion, you yeeted the accretion at the Sigma, right, enemy Sigma, when there was a D.Va charging right at you. So accretions, like if you use sniper accretions, right, yeah, it's nice because it knocks people down longer, but it's also not that great because if you knock, if you knock somebody down like across the map, your team can't follow up on it. The whole point of accretions is that you stun somebody and then your team murders them while they're stunned, right? So D.Va would have been nice to stun because she's boosting at you. You accretion her, she's almost out of mech. She doesn't have boosters, so she can't get away. And then you just laser her, and she has no mech, and then it's a free kill, 5v6, and then you're in the advantage, and you probably win that team fight, right? So, um, we shouldn't have accretioned the Sigma. It's kind of... Eh. Are we demec the diva anyways? Um, this is kind of brawly. Alright, so, you have the issue that a lot of Sigmas in low ranks have. Um, so a lot of Sigmas in the lower ranks, right... They forget that they have a shield, right? They push past it, they don't see it, and then they keep it up, and it goes super low HP, and then when they need it for the next team fight or the next engagement or when they get pressured or something like that, they don't have it, and then they die, or somebody on their team dies. So whenever you're pushing or whenever Ryan has his shield up, when you're rotating for double shield, you should have that Sigma shield down. If Ryan has his shield up and you're with Ryan, you, your shield should be down recharging. If his shield's down, your shield's up, and uh, if you're pushing, then your shield typically should be down unless you need to use it to, like, shield from fire while you're pushing in, right? So, we should have dropped it a lot sooner. I think it had to break. Oh, this is very aggressive. We should die here. 
Okay, we, we saved ourselves with the Matrix, but that was really aggressive. There's no need to do that. Remember, Sigma, he's not... You can play him in an off-tanky style, but if you want to play like that, play D.Va or Zarya. Um, there's no reason... You're Sigma, right? So, we're changing gameplay styles, right? Zarya is an aggressive off-tank. You should be aggressive. You should be pushing people, using your bubbles to stay high charge. you know, just bully people. Uh, same with D.Va. Sigma can be played off tank esque, but he is not an off tank. He's a main tank at heart still. So if you try and play him like an off tank, it's not going to work out for you, and you're typically you're just going to get caught out and die. His kit is not designed to be an off tank. It's to bu designed to be a main tank that punishes flankers and stupid people and stuff like that, right? His accretion is meant to, you know, punish out of position people, and then his, his extendable barrier is still, or experimental barrier, whatever. Um, you know, that's still for, um, main tanking, right? So he's still a main tank at heart, so we can't really play him that aggressive and that off tanky like. I mean, we can play him aggressive, but not healing that much, you know? And, like, pushing out and pushing the envelope and taking space as much. Or in that manner, you know? Basically, what I mean is you can't just W key past Ryan's shield and expect it to work like it does with Saria. Alright, so we have Flux. Uh, we can combo Flux and Tire, Flux and Shatter, um, but we should try and combo it. I mean, we could do it without combo, but... Mm. No Alright, Widow Pop Sights. Nice Matrix for your Junkrat. We could counter Flux this. Oh, we don't need to now. Yep, and this should be our team fight. We could have accretioned uh, that Reaper a bit quicker, but this is fine. We win team fight. Our team should just W key them to spawn. Yep, and they should back off now. Yep, there we go. All right, that was a clean team fight. Uh, only thing is that you could have accretioned a little bit earlier on the Reaper so that you wouldn't die, right? You hold on to it for a bit too long. It's not the end of the world. Whoops, is this? Alright, hold up. I was preoccupied with something else there for a second. Let me just back up, I apologize. Alright, so we're pushing in. Got flux. Alright, we W keyed way too far here and we accretion a target that doesn't matter. So what we should have done is we should have stayed back, right? Because we have accretion, we have matrix, we have everything. We know the majority of people on their enemies team have ults. Um they don't, but let's anticipate it that way because they haven't used that many. And they have a minute thirty left on the clock, right? So they should theoretically have the majority of their ults up online. So when we're coming back, we should know this. The Reaper obviously blossomed. If we would have played further back, we could have accretioned him, or matrixed him, or both, and cancelled out his ult. Um, instead of W keying up, like, the problem is you're taking your Zarya gameplay, and some of the things that you didn't do correctly on Zarya, and then just transferring it over to Sigma. Like, with Zarya, you weren't aggressive enough. With Sigma, you're over-aggressive. So now we should die here. Yep. And this should be a lost team fight. Yep, because we're pushing in, and yeah, yeah, and we pop tire. That is a waste of tire. I don't know what our junk rat's thinking, but whatever. All right, and our team's lost the fight. So, our honestly, we could have very easily won that fight if we would just have not played so over aggro. Honestly, that was the main issue in that fight was you were pushed up too far, and we're pushing up extremely far this time, and we're feeding, and we're dead. That was a straight up feed. I don't know what you're thinking. Um, w King into an enemy team 1v6 is not how you play this game, but okay. Uh, Ryan's W King a bit too much. Oh, and they shattered here. Interesting. <laughs> what the hell? What is this? 
a mess. Okay. Curious why we're running the widow into the um, diva. Well, it's not that questionable. It's just like our widow isn't. I I'm curious as to whether or not like the widow got salty and took the other crazy dragon's widow or something like that. Cause this widow's not good. But uh, all right. We're over here. We're, we're just DPS. Uh, we're not really getting anything accomplished. Put a shield up for the widow. We could have put a shield up for the widow and saved her. That's we're playing like we're playing extremely off tanky and it's not working so I think I think you're wanting to play Sigma like Zarya and that's the issue at least the issue that I'm seeing so, okay that was a weird flick alright so we have all right, so next time, this is just an issue. If So, I know your console player... Oh, yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is an Xbox player. So, if you're console, right? So, unless you have a crazy high sense, you can't do flicks like that across your screen. Just reactionary flicks. Um, it kind of worked, but it didn't. Honestly, wait, hold up. Did you, f did you stun the Reaper? I'm curious. Let's see. Sweet ults. Yeah, we don't even stun him. We kill Tracer, it's fine. But what we could have done is do what we were going to do, which was um, accretion. Uh, this brig on the ground? No, no, no. This diva on the ground. Finish the diva and knock the brig down, and then we spin over to the left, and then we matrix them, right? Because we have our matrix up in about a second, right? As opposed to flicking across the screen. If you were PC, this would be totally fine because you would have been accurate enough. If you were accurate enough to, and have a high enough sense to flick across the screen like that in a reactionary flick, then do it. But you don't. So it, it's either you don't have a high enough sense or you're not accurate enough. But if you work on that and grind it out, then okay. But you need to have that down because you kind of just wasted the decretion there. Um, the play... If you know how you operate and whether what your limits are and whether or not you can do that, then the play would have been, like, if you know you can't do that, play would have been accretion them, fire some shots into D.Va, spin over, D.Va would have died, spin over, Matrix Reaper, jump in front of your Reinhardt if you have to, just eat his ult, and then um, barrier him if you need to. Instead we flick over. I mean, it still works. It's just kind of a nitpick, right? So that we could have gotten more value. But it's whatever. Alright, we're kind of just playing merry-go-round with the Ryan. We should have just backed out there. There's no reason to play merry-go-round with him. Alright. Alright. So we beat. We solo beat our Lucio is throwing. Well, okay. Ryan's just all over the place. It's working, though. Here come you on Sigma. Alright, we need to finish this Moira. Chase this Moira, chase this Moira. Come on, come on. There we go, nice. That was good. Alright. So. We have Flux. We keep on holding on to Flux, and I don't really know why. Um, like we could, we could have fluxed earlier on here. We could flux here, it's still a winnable fight. That shatter would have... We're holding on to flux, there's no reason to hold on to it. Like, I don't know why we're still... We still have it stockpiled. And we're W King again, and we'll die. Do not. Yep, there we go. We're still way too aggressive on Sigma. Like, tone it down. I know I said to be more aggressive on Zarya, but that's an off tank. You were very passive. Sigma's a main tank. You can't play like that. You won't. It won't work. Um, like, we still have this Flux. Like, this Flux, honestly, should be... You pop it here? There we go. It's a very late Flux, but... Alright... So when we flux, right, we should be focusing the people in the air 
because they'll heal themselves and they'll be fine because it only takes it slams them so it brings them up for some damage right but then it slams them and damages them equal to half of their health so if it's a 600 hp hog when he goes up he takes some damage i don't know the damage uh value when it lifts them up but when it slams him back down he's gonna take 300 damage right unless he's using like an inhaler or getting healed like really crazy or something like that so that will not kill somebody that's full hp right because they'll still have some uh at least half hp left over if not or no no, no at least like a quarter hp left over or something like that if they're a low hp target because they'll lift up initially but like for you know the sake estimates and stuff like that and rounding uh they're gonna have at least half hp right so it won't kill them so we should focus them when they're lifted up so we are going to play and then let's see you come in you flux oh okay never mind it was only lucio flux i thought it flux more all right my bad that was a good eat on reaper shield that um we could have pushed our shield out a little bit further might have saved that actually i don't yeah i don't know but when a when a diva bombs right it's worth it especially if we have a second shield to instead of just shielding ourselves or our team we can just put our shield all the way over until it completely blocks the bomb right just like put it in the bomb's face uh, so that i can't do anything like that's also worth it all right so let's see um reaper's kind of just doing his thing murdering you all <laughs> I want to stop that. We're W-keying into Reaper. Once again. Uh, okay. Activating the barrier. Alright. It's a bit W-key. We're even, I think? Yeah. No, no, no. We're a man up. Alright, this should be a winnable fight. Should be winnable, should be winnable. There we go, winnable. Nice, that was pretty good. That was good. Uh, we have Flux, right? So, we should be positioning for Flux right now. Like, a high ground position, something like that, that they wouldn't expect. We shouldn't be just sitting on cart. I mean, I guess we can sit on cart, but it'd be more viable to go for, like, a flank or something like that. Since this is his last fight. But we better pop our flux here. I hope I see flux. Please use flux. Please flux here. Flux. 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 Thank you. Okay. Once again, we need to focus the people that are flux. We flux three there. None of them died. I should cap here. Yeah. Um. So we got a big flux. Um. That was totally winnable. We should have shot the people in the flux, right? But this is a GG. So, your main issues, right? Uh, you played two heroes. So with Sigma, stop being so over aggro and thinking he's an off tank. If you can't play Sigma the way he's meant to be played, then play D.Va or something like that, where you can play the exact way that you're playing right now on Sigma, right? Just, or D.Va or Zarya, right? I, whatever we're in defensive tanks i guess later on but like your sigma is so over aggressive and you forget about your shield um so just you know be more careful if you're pushing forward drop your shield unless you absolutely need it to cover fire uh if you're ryan if you're doing double shield and the other tank shield is up drop yours uh you know all that good stuff also don't hold on the flux so long um you know you need to be more liberal about your ults. Don't be so conservative with them. There's no reason to hold on to them for that long. Um, also, our right or no, sorry. Um, our, our yeah. So our sigma play, you know, it was okay, but like it wasn't, it wasn't as good as our Zarya. Our Zarya is really good. Um, or your Zarya is really good, but the sigma is just. Um, you play it like an off tank, and it's not. He's not. Just because you have a Rhine who's already your dedicated main tank, you're still a main tank. You can't play like an off tank and just W key like that and W key past Rhine's shield 
use your cooldowns and expect to take space and expect the enemy team to back up like they do with Zarya. Because with Sigma, right, the reason people back off with Zarya is you get high charge and you're a threat because you'll laser beam anything that challenges you or stays in that position, right? Unless they can out damage you or they can block your damage somehow. Um, with Sigma, you don't have that damage threat. You just have a cooldown that blocks shit uh, and you have a shield and you have a big ass rock. And then you have, like, these two little balls that you throw around that do a bit of damage. But you're not a high damage tank by any means. You're not a high damage character by any means. Um, there's, you're at best a burst damage character that is mediocre, right? You're a tank. You're a main tank. So you can't expect, so it's like Reinhardt just W keying all the way in and then expecting people to back off and you to get space out of it. No, the team will just collapse on you and kill you. So stop W keying past Ryan's shield. Um, with Zarya, be more aggressive. W key past Ryan's shield, take space, you know. Um, uh, don't be so aggressive that you're feeding, but be a bit more aggressive because you're passive, right? You're you're a passive Zarya, and you're really good with the bubble placement. Um, personal bubbles could be a bit better, but honestly, they're really good, especially for a gold. I, you're like as a gold, you're honestly insane on Zarya, and your tracking's really good, so like your aim will be fine. Um, it's just your positioning. You're not being aggressive enough to get value out of all those good mechanics that you have on Zarya. Because you have good enough mechanics to just hard carry games. It's just you need to be a little bit more aggressive. And there's some times where you'd like spin around and not know what the hell is going on. Uh, try to not have that happen. Um, but, you know, like you're honestly fine on Zarya. You're, you're doing great. It's just be a little bit more aggressive and, you know, take, take that space. Peel for your team. Um... Use your bubbles to help team members and stuff like that. There are a few moments where people died because you didn't help them. Um, but overall, your Zarya is really good. Sigma, though, just work on... If you want to keep playing Sigma, work on turning him into a main tank, right? If you play Reinhardt or anything like that, or Orisa, try and play him like that, right? That's basically what he is. I mean, there's some different things about him, but that's the best idea I can give you for learning Sigma. Um... Just to, you know, get it into your head that he's a main tank, right? But just try and play him like a main tank. Um, you know, not an off tank. But yeah, uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got something uh, good out of this. Learn something um, to improve in your games. Uh, so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, peace.